I'm at the auction lot of another state surplus vehicle auction. Today's the inspection day for the auction. The bidding is online and it ends tomorrow night. But today is our opportunity to get into the lot, to go through the cars, to see which ones we like. Now there's 37 cars, trucks, vans out there on the lot today. But I'm here specifically to look at this 7 or 8 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, the Tahoe SSV, and there's also a Dodge Charger as well. Now I'm going to take you into the lot with me. We're going to do a cursory review of those cars and the Tahoe. We'll see which ones we like, which ones we want to bid on. Um, and then we'll do a more in-depth inspection and review of those cars that we pick out that we're more interested in. So let's get into the lot. Let's take a look, see what they have, see what we like, come up with a max bid, and let's see where it takes us. Tahoe SSV is the four-wheel drive model, while the two-wheel drive is called the Pursuit. The state police, state park services, and the Department of Natural Resources here all run these SSVs. Usually, though, parks and Denrec, they have meteor tires on their truck. 2012 Tahoe SSV, 110,000 miles, bidding right now $66.50. A quick walk around. I see a flat tire. I see good treads on the tires. Fender well, the liner's missing. Look at that. And I think those connections right there, that worries me the most without a fender liner in here. I see a little bit of discoloration in the side, a scrape down the side, tires low. I'm anxious to see what the underside looks like. The body looks fairly clean. I'm pretty pleased with that. There's a little crazing right there, not a big deal. This side looks good. One thing I like to do with these is pull open this fender liner and take a peek in there. Sometimes it gives you an indication on where the truck came from. Sometimes I'll see sand or pine needles and you know it came from the beach. This one, I don't know. I can't say really. Let's take a look inside. Seats ripped up. Fairly clean. Let's pop the hood. Pop the hood and we'll start it up. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh my gosh, look at this. What a mess. That's solid. Salt or sand? Oh, that's all kinds of ugly down there, man. Exposed wires and connectors. Everything's coated. What a mess. Now, one thing I've learned about these things is way down low, where the transmission line runs into the radiator for the cooling, these things seem notorious for leaking right there. I'm not hearing any ticking noise. Well, maybe I do hear a ticking noise. Really faint. That might be the reason why it's here. The There's a little bit of wobble in the crank pulley. Oh, and look. Down low. Some moisture down there. Right at the transmission line. I guess that's the reason why it's here. Let's take a quick look underneath. Yep. What a mess. That's a shame. Right now, bidding's at 6650. I mean, I could see this thing selling for twelve or thirteen thousand. We'll see where it ends up. All right, next is lot number one thirty. It's a two thousand six police interceptor. Estimated miles one hundred eighty-eight thousand because the odometer is dead. Bidding right now is at seven hundred dollars. Code reader hooked up to it, showing a three oh eight code. Could be coil packs. It's basically a miss. Basically a misfire. A little bit of body damage on the side. Not the end of the world. I'm sure a lot of that will buff out. Scraping along the front bumper. Right here on the fender lip, I'm looking, and that's pretty clean. I like the color. Sonic blue, I think. The interior. 
Oh, what a flat seat. Oh my gosh, he was sitting here. Ticket lights busted up. Interior's fairly clean. But given the miles and the misfire code, even at $700, I got no interest in this one. Lot number 127, it's a 2008 Crown Vic. Bidding is at $1,100, and I think that's a reflection of the condition on this one. It's kind of messy, a ding in the hood, swiped on the side. Tires are good, paint looks good, the trunk is clean. One plug on the trunk. That's Sonic Pearl Blue again. Some scratches on the door handle. No holes on the roof. There's that ding. I'm wondering if I can buff out a lot of that scraping on the side. Look right down the side. I'm betting I can get a lot of that out. Inside, a rip, a little bit of pilling, some stains, no big deal. Missing kick panel. It's got the ticket light. Steering wheel is a little chewed up, not a big deal. Odometer is dead, nothing. Idle hours is a mystery. A little pilling in the seat. You know, if bidding, oh, here's the kick panel. If bidding stays in the, you know, $1,100, $1,200, $1,300 range, I'll be a buyer on this one. I'm checking to see how quickly the transmission engages when shifting between park and drive and vice versa. It seems to go into gear quickly. The shifter is a bit stiff though. Brakes feel great. Under the hood, the engine oil looks good and smells clean too. I'm not seeing any leaks around the intake manifold, no weird smells, and everything seems right. Underneath, there's some rust showing on the passenger side rocker. On both sides, the floors, frame, and frame gussets, they all look fine with only surface rust. Right, check this one out. Number 126, a 2002 Crown Vic. 127,000 miles. No idle hours, of course, because the old speedometer. $750 is the bidding. Check out the blue on this. I like that dark blue. Headlights are discolored. The bumper, I'm going to guess, is original to the car. Gaps look fine. The tires are good. Everywhere, though, every panel, there's some kind of scuffing or scrapes. You notice the gap is a lot tighter on these trunks on these older Vicks versus the newer ones. I'm thinking it's a model year issue. Like the factory guys just gave up on trying to do a good job with this. The badging is taken off, of course, on every one of these. The interceptor badging, there's your scrapes and your paint. This car is a great candidate for vinyl wrapping. Oh, look at that, look inside of there. <laughs> There's like a whole family of bugs. I like this one. What is that? A lap belt for the center passenger. Nice. I like the blue. Haven't seen a blue interior in a long time. I'm guessing that's the safe idle. I'm guessing. Two holes in a dash, some discoloration. I bet you'll never find another blue trim panel like that either. Have to be repainted. Intake looks decent. There's that cable. Love having that versus the electronic throttle. I like the color. Take a look at the oil. I like this one. Even though it's so old, a 2002, I'm not opposed to it. I like the color. I like the older style to it with the throttle. Well, let's make sure that closes right. There we go. All right. Fitting is at $750, and if it stays in that range, then I'm interested. Underneath this one, there is some rust starting to show on the rockers. The floors, frame, and mounting points look fine. The trim is pulling away a little on the other side. 
Also, the rocker is clean on that side too, along with the floors and the frame. Lot number 125, a 2011 police interceptor. Bidding's at $1,300. Mileage is at 113 right now. That front tire is a wreck. I don't know if you can see that. There's nothing left on it. Body looks good. I like the gray. The scrape in the bumper cover. No hubcap. Tires beat. More scrapes down the side. I get a sense that the sheen is wrong on the doors. I'm betting this thing got sideswiped at some point. Beat tires, scrapes, trunk plug. The roof is clean, no holes. No sticker numbers. Down the driver's side. It's surprising. The body is probably one of the nicest ones here. Let's take a look inside. Nope. A louver's missing, no big deal. Fifty-eight oh eight on idle hours. All right. We got the ticket light. We got a vinyl back seat, which is different. We have marks from the partition bars in the ceiling. Let's check the windows. Hundred and oh, somebody turned it into kilometers. All right, not a big deal. Some jokers trying to scare people away, I think. Underneath the rocker shows a little bit of rust on the weld seams. The frame, cross members, and suspension points all look fine, but with what looks like just surface rust. Overall, it looks like a decent car, but bidding has to stay modest in order to cover the cost of tires and whatever else might go wrong with this car. Uh, number 129, the 2010 Crown Vic Police Interceptor bidding's at $1,200. Mileage is at 111,000, has 5,820 idle hours. It looks pretty good from here. The front bumper is telling me that it's probably original to the car. The headlights are faded. Not a big deal. Oh, we got rust right here on the fender lip. Some discoloration. Good tires all around. The trunk lid's a mess. Look at that. I swear, a bunch of animals who rip those stickers off. Oh, some crazing down here. It's online bidding only for US government. Let's take a quick look inside. You got a missing airbag light. Interior's clean. No holes in the dash. Check that out. That's surprising. Ticket light, interior light, seats look fine. Looks like they were just thrown in there. This one has a dead battery, a crack in the windshield, if you can make that out. There's trunk lid burns, obviously. There's this big gap in the fender. There's this big gap in the trunk lid. And I'm seeing this, look how fat that is. I'm seeing this on the later model cars versus the earlier model VIX, which is interesting. Number 128, 2010, police interceptor, 126,000 miles, bidding's at $1,250. And right away, the headlight's a mess. No hubcap, worn tires, a lot of scrubbing on the side of the tires too, which is concerning. A little bit of superficial damage on the paint. You got that big gap again. You can even put your fingers in there. Burning on the trunk lid. A little, little gouge down here on the bumper cover. Another scrape, a little discoloration. I'm thinking a lot of that might buff out. Hubcaps again on the front tires too 
no rust on the fender lip. The side profile looks pretty good. Fitting's at 1250 right now. Not outrageous. I'm okay with that. One hole in the trunk. Two holes on the dash. Missing airbag light again. Uh oh. No big deal. I don't think that's a big problem. Ticket light. Cloth seats. A dead odometer. Lot 101, a 2011, Crown Vic, 122,000 miles, bidding's at $1,700, there's an oil leak, there's no codes. A guy I met at this auction and at a prior auction, his name is Wayne, he was looking over this car as well and he pointed out that engine oil was being flung from the engine and is coating the passenger side of the engine and underside of the hood. Interior wise, door panel's a little discolored, the steering wheel's just a little chewed up. Again, somebody turned it into kilometers to scare people away, I would bet. 3,600 idle hours, not a big deal. Clean interior. Two holes, vinyl back seat, ticket light. Uh, clean. Number 102, 2011, police interceptor, $1,600. Bidding right now, 126,000 miles, no codes. Needs hubcaps, has some scrapes on the side. Clean front bumper, clean headlights. Fender lip looks, eh, looks okay, I guess. No holes in the roof. One plug on the trunk. There's that big gap again between the windshield and the trunk lid. Vinyl back seat. Hundred and twenty six on the miles, idle hours, thirty eight hundred, which seems to be pretty typical on these cars. There's the plug, there's the vinyl seat, there's the headlights, there's the roof light, the ticket light. I'm thinking that was where the camera was mounted. All right, item 103, it's a 2007 Crown Vic Police Interceptor. Bidding's at $1,500. Miles is estimated at 110,000 because the odometer's dead. Can't tell idle hours. This one has an open recall on the steering shaft. There's no codes. Interior's kind of filthy, not a big deal. I like the miles at, oh wait, it's working. It's working, all right. Idle hours are a little on a, uh, idle hours are about average, 4,100. The odometer looks pretty bright for not working earlier. Cloth seat, ticket light. Let's take a look on the outside. Got a trunk plug. Bumper cover's nice. Body's nice. Two dings. Fender lip looks good. Headlights discolored. Bumper cover, I'm gonna bet, is original to the car, just given the, the scuffing in it. Down the side, looks okay to me. This looks like a good one. The steering shaft shouldn't be a big deal. Miles is nice, $1,500, starting to get to the, to the upper threshold of where I'd wanna be on a, on a 2007. 100, a 2007 Dodge Charger, $3,350 bidding right now. Miles, 111. The air vent on the passenger side is hanging off. There's that purple center stack, which is kind of weird, and it has an aftermarket exhaust. 
I get a sense that this one was confiscated, and because of that, I'm just going to stay away from it. Last cars, 2010 Crown Vic, bidding's at 1600 right now. Item number 106, 116,000 miles. Again, everything seems like it's been sideswiped. There's a big old ding in the door. Tires are good. Oh my gosh, look at that. And on the trunk lid, of course. A plug. Oh, look at that. There's nothing left on that tire. Hubcaps, doors. I'm just going to walk away from this one. Got no interest in this. It's a shame, too, because the mileage is nice at 116. And lastly, this auction had a bunch of commercial kitchen items like prep tables and refrigerators and mixers, but they also had some scaffolding. Now, for my years doing HR work, I had to handle all the OSHA claims for my office. I know that there are gobs of OSHA rules, regulations, there's inspections even on scaffolding and planking. It's even in the top 10 list of most dangerous occupations with something like 4,500 reportable injuries per year and 60 or so fatalities. So with so much risk and all the regulations, I don't know why anybody might take a chance and buy something like this at an auction. All right, I'm glad to be back in the car and warm up a little bit. All right, so here's my thoughts. That Tahoe, that thing was a mess. I don't have any interest on it, and that's going to be nothing but a nightmare for whoever ends up buying that thing. The Charger, I think it was a confiscated car. I'm just not interested in that. Of the Crown Vicks that I looked at, there was three that I was most interested in. Um, they were in order, 125, 126, 127. Uh, 125, that was the gray Crown Vic 2011, low miles at like 113,000. Uh, remember, the tires were all burned out on that car. I'm interested in that. Um, we'll see where the bidding goes. Right now, it's, it's still fair, and, and I'm inter interested. I'd be a buyer if the bidding stays in that range. Uh, 126 was the 2002 in that dark blue that I really like. I like that car a lot. The age kind of worried me a little bit, and when I looked underneath, the rockers had some rust forming on them. So I don't want to go much higher than what the current bidding is. It's right now at 750 and 850, 950. I'd still be a buyer in that range, but I don't want to go too much more than that. And then 127 was the 2008. Now it seems that this auction cars um, with the model year 2008, six, seven, they seem to sell for about a third less than the 2010 and 2011. So you know, I'm thinking maybe that car might sell in the $1,500 range. And, you know, I'd, I'd put money on it, and i put a bid on it at that amount. So, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the previews. Be sure to check up on the next video that I'll send out, and it'll be an update on what these things actually sold for. And, as always, thanks so much for watching.